Well, thank you. I think the, the tweet by Iranian Foreign Minister Zarif is critical, uh, where he doesn't, where he's basically Let's saying we don't seek escalation, we don't seek war. Uh, and basically, it's a back down. It's a blink. And if these battle damage assessments of no casualties and a miss uh, on the part of very accurate missiles that hit Saudi Aramco and came from Iran, their cruise missiles, if those are true, the president's completely exonerated. Uh, once again, Iran, when faced with strength, has backed down because the thing the regime cares about the most is its own survival. But I do think, and I would like to see the president speak directly to the American people. This is historic. This is defining for his administration. I think an address from the Oval Office for the, from the White House would be would be important and would be telling because the maximum pressure campaign is working. The thing the regime cares about the most is its own wallet. And if we do respond, I think it needs to hit that critical economic infrastructure that is going to have the regime suffering even further uh, to where to the point where it either has to come to the table from a position of weakness to hit the thing, uh, all of the uh, things that Colonel North was talking about, terrorism, ballistic missiles, its entire nuclear weapons program, and I would add American hostages, which are sitting in Tehran right now, chained to a prison floor. When it changes all of those behaviors, uh, we will enter into another deal or it'll face economic uh, internal collapse. Those are well, the two well, choices that it has and the two choices that this president knows and will drive home.